Namaste, my beautiful collective. I am doing a pick a card reading for May. So I have three piles for you to pick from. We have the first pile, which is the smoky quartz, the second pile, which is the carnelian, and the third pile, which is the clear crystal pyramid. I want you to take a deep breath. Focus on the pile that you resonate with the most, and we'll be back with pile number one. If you'd like to book a reading with me, or we'll look at any of my other social media, the links to my webpage and my social media are in the description box below. Please like, share, subscribe. I love the energy exchange, and I want to thank you. Namaste. So if you picked pile number one, the Smoky Quartz, this is going to be your reading for May. We're going to start off with the regular tarot and I have some oracle cards and a charm cast. So the first card is the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, followed by the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands in Reverse, and the Two of Swords. So interesting so with the wheel of fortune your luck you might have felt like you had bad luck in the past um, it could have had to do with this king of pentacles or you could be this king of pentacles king of pentacles is usually very abundant um, possibly earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn uh, strong businessman type it's all energy so male female please take it how it resonates or what you resonate with um, I don't feel like that they were the cause of it, but they might have helped you out of the bad luck, or you are the King of Pentacles. Um, so that was the past. And then going into the future, we have the Four of Wands, which is the Twin Flame card, 1111, with the dark and the light energy here, the yin and the yang. And this is about happiness, happy home, happy family. Uh, really good friendships so you might be experiencing that right now or some romance coming in and it could be this page of cups cancer Scorpio Pisces energy um, doesn't have to be uh, very emotional but maybe a little bit immature about the way they you know they may have not developed romantically um, since high school or college or they might just be very young um, and this could be male or female energy as well um, and they're coming in to make uh, some kind of a romantic offer or give you their cup of love. And then we have some kind of celebration here. So there's good things with the celebration. However, we are in Mercury retrograde. So because we're in Mercury retrograde, I see the Ace of, of Wands in reverse. So you might feel a little stunted with creative projects or uh, passion right now. You might not be so passionate. Mercury retrograde sometimes knocks the heck out of you with different mishaps, miscommunication, stuff like that. And with the Two of Swords, you might just feel like it's at a stalemate. But you are celebrating in the near future. But I think after that, you might just feel like a, a lack of passion, maybe a stalemate energy. So let's move on and do the, the oracle cards. We have the mystical kipper. We have main person. And I feel like it's either this guy or that guy. And whoever this is, this, I'm thinking it's a love reading. I didn't take the romance angels cards today. I just feel like it can be confusing for some people. So if I feel like it's a love reading, it's a love reading. Also could have to do with creativity. But there's a main person in your life that um, is heavily influencing this reading. And then we have good gentlemen. So this is a good gentleman that's the main person. So if it's not a romantic partner, it could be a business partner or a really good friend or a family member. And then we have Nightingale's Spirit, Love is All Around. Number 41, that could be significant. Um, 
So there is love all around, regardless of the situation. There's a lot of love that's around you currently um, that you're getting from other people. I feel like it's incoming to you, but I feel like you're a very loving person, whoever I'm talking to. We have the earth spirit, which is vulnerability, meadow. So maybe you feel a lack of passion in a stalemate. This is what I'm, my take is on this. You might feel a lack of passion and a stalemate energy in the future because you need to be more vulnerable. You might have some strong boundaries up, maybe because of bad luck in the past. And you see how the cards tell a story? I can channel energy without these cards, but they tell a story. And this is, you know, like I said, take it how it resonates. I'm reading from um, a larger group of people here. So some things will resonate, some things might not. So we have the Goddess guide, Guidance card, which is Mary Magdalene, Unconditional Love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So even if you feel like maybe, you know, you're given 80% in a situation and somebody else is given 20, if you use unconditional love, that's the best way to go with it. You should use that in every circumstance you can. It's difficult sometimes because people can really test you. Uh, the universe can put tests in our way. But if you use unconditional love in every situation, then you'll notice that love is all around. You have to kind of see the forest for the trees, you know? So now we have a Moonology card, a time to give rather than take. So uh, try, you know, you don't have to give physically a monetary. You could just give your time. You could give your love. You could give your energy, good energy, good time, good, you know, quality time um, to somebody. And it's time for you to give and step up to the plate with that. And then the final card, the angel answer is communicate clearly. So you have to be a little bit more vulnerable and say what you want because I feel like you have to do this <clears throat> to get out of the stalemate energy because it may have caused you some bad luck in the past. So those are the cards, pile number one. Let's look at your charms. And I still have my charms in here from last month. Let's see. All right, we have, um, I think it's a sand dollar, and we also have a sand dollar earring. So we also have the king of pentacles here, and see how it looks similar? If I put the charm next to the king of pentacles here. So I think of this as money or financial things. We have two of them. So I get money coming into you. We have this thing, if I can pick it up, it's like an iron. So something might have to be ironed out and definitely looks that way with the cards. There's a bow here. You might be dressing up for an event or receiving a present. Something may have happened around Christmas, the holidays, uh, with this tree, because it looks like a Christmas tree to me, but it also might be going out to nature. Uh, there's a star here. You might be a star. You like stargazing. Um, something about stars here could be significant or somebody is a star, maybe the person that you've been dealing with, this romantic person. And then we have a moonstone ring, um, which is cancer energy, um, but it's very protective. It also gives you a lot of intu intuitive abilities. So I feel like you might be really intuitive, um, but something happened at Christmas. I feel like some money is coming into you in the immediate future and that might be why you celebrate so i hope you enjoyed this reading pile number one have a wonderful month of may sending love and blessings to you all namaste so if you chose pile number two the carnelian this is going to be your reading for the month of may all right we have the Nine of Swords, the 
Five of Swords in Reverse, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Seven of Swords in Reverse, and the High Priestess. This is really interesting. So you suffered some kind of pain in the past, something that may have given you nightmares or, you know, that's probably because of that ugly comforter, but um, just very like sadness, destitution, you know, some kind of emotional pain I get or mental pain that kept you up at night. One of those things. And then we have the Five of Swords in Reverse. With the Five of Swords in Reverse, Five of Swords Upright is um, lots of disputes and, and arguing. I feel like you might have walked away from a situation or somebody walked away from a situation with you. And that's probably what gave you this mental torment or this emotional, swords are usually mental. Um, or this dispute when it finally ended. Um, you know, it's just, it caused a lot of grief in some way. So coming into the future, so like, you know, from the past coming in now, the energy is already here. We have the Knight of Cups. So this is typically a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy coming in. And he has this cup of love coming into you. Um, male, female, it's all energy. But I feel like yet yeah, this might have to do with romance. Uh, maybe you had a bad breakup and then you get this new person coming in. Um, and I don't know if it will matter to you presently because it seems like you are fine on your own. You're happy, you're content. Um, the only thing you're missing is that one pentacle. This woman has everything. She's got pentacles all over the place. So she's financially stable. She might have pets. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Usually the sunflower is here which is harvest, bounty. Um, and this energy is what you are or you will be presently in, um, in, the, in the very, very near future. Um, we have the Two of Cups here, which is a romantic relationship, uh, partnership, solidifying a romantic relationship. I have a funny feeling it's either you're the Knight of Cups or the other person is. Um, and in the future, you might be a little bit nervous. And also, we're in the Mercury retrograde. So take that, keep that in mind. Because it can make you maybe doubt things at times. Doubt situations, doubt relationships, doubt everything. Um, or you might feel like somebody was trying to get away with something. But I feel like in the near future, you may feel like go back and forth in your mind because this is in reverse. So this person is somebody that you can trust. They are not going to do that to you. There might be a little bit of stagnation, also because of Mercury retrograde. And not only that, the final card we have here is the High Priestess, which is number two. So two days, two weeks, two months. I don't think I did the numbers with pile number one, uh, but I'm going to say five. I don't know why I say five. I'm just going to use that. But for pile number two, it's two hours, two days, two weeks, two months. I say two weeks on this one. And you see, she's got the light and the dark energy here. She's got a book on her lap. That's the book of knowledge. That's like the Akash. Um, and she understands all the stuff behind her. She understands. She has that hidden knowledge. She knows how to use discernment. She's very discerning, very into highly, highly intuitive. So she doesn't miss a trick. This could be you or the other person that you're dealing with. But I feel like, and it's all energy, you know, female, I feel like it's you. So those are the tarot. We're going to do um, some oracle cards now. we got the mystical kipper. We have short illness. Maybe you haven't been feeling good. I kind of get past energy. So you might have been feeling a little ill and theft. So somebody may have stolen something from you. And for whatever reason, 
this is exactly what I'm channeling. Somebody stole something from you, but I feel like it might have been a romantic partner and it made you sick. Because I feel like you might have put a lot of energy into the situation. If not a, a romantic partner in the past did you dirty and made you sick. But you know, a lot of times when we get stressed out about stuff, our body gets stressed and we come down with a cold or a flu or a stomach virus or you know, some back problems, neck problems, because we hold all that energy in those points. And if our chakras aren't cleared and balanced, if we don't meditate and we don't clear that energy out, negative energy, whether it's, it's going to be body, mind, and spirit that you have to clear that energy, you're going to come down with some kind of illness. Usually they're short-lived unless it's something, a major trauma. But that's kind of what I get in the past. And we have the... Uh, why can't I think right now? I just drew a blank. Spirit Animal Deck. Number 62 may be significant. 62, Turtle Spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. So maybe you just had to take a time out. But know that if you did, don't hurry anything, especially under Mercury Retrograde. Slow and steady wins the race in the situation. Turtle may also be your spirit animal. We have Earth Magic, which is rainbow blessings. Blessings are coming into you. And then we have the Goddess Guidance card, which is Ixchel. I think I said that right. Medicine Woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. This goes right on top of the High Priestess card here. Because that's what I believe. So you might have healing energy, but sometimes, and I know as a healer, as a Reiki master, as an ordained minister, that when you heal people, sometimes you take that energy away from yourself. So you have to be very fussy about who you heal, who you deal with, who you help or who you mentor, who you share your energy with. So we have Moonology. Luck is on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius. So something around the new moon, you may be lucky. I feel like blessings are coming into you, whether this is a romance or just a general in your life. Um, and then the final card is forgiveness. So in order to feel better and not have this short illness or feel better physically, feel better mentally, emotionally, um, you need to forgive whatever the situ situation was in the past. Because the only person you hurt by holding on to anger is yourself. You don't hurt the other person. And if you seek revenge, it just comes back to you with the laws, the universal laws, the laws of karma. So you need to heal from this bad energy of the past and forgive. And maybe you started to, but I feel like once you do this fully, you are going to be so lucky and receive so many blessings in your life. So pile number two, those are your cards. Let's do your charms. All right. We have feet. So it could be the pitter patter of little feet or walking barefoot, grounding yourself. We have it, another turtle. We just had the turtle in the cards. Slow and steady wins the race. Again, could be a totem animal or your spirit animal. What is this? Um, this is somebody, you might have a motorcycle or a bicycle. It's like somebody riding a bike. And we have the yin and the yang here, or the infinity symbol, which I think a yin and yang. And as above, so below energy, you know. I love soccer, so somebody might be a soccer fan here. There's a heart, a red heart, so there's love involved. We have corn, which is bounty, blessings. We also have these leaves here. Again, nature, blessings. 
a starfish, uh, you know, starfish, a seahorse. I'm really losing it. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. I got a new puppy today. And I got a beautiful Bernice Mountain dog puppy, so I am, it's like having a baby. And I am exhausted. We had to drive kind of a couple hours away to get him. He's beautiful. Um, seahorse energy is deep. So you might have deep emotional wounds or deep emotions about the situation. And then we have the final one is the fairy on the moon. I feel like this is divine guidance uh, or um, angel spirits watching over you in this situation. So pile number two, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Sending love and blessings to you all. Namaste. Have a great month of May. So if you chose pile number three, the final pile, the clear crystal pyramid, this is going to be your reading for the month of May. Start off with the regular tarot. And we have the page of pentacles. Judgment. Seven of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Three of wands in reverse. The death card. And the ten of pentacles. Well, wow, lots of pentacles. This is a money reading or a career reading if I've ever seen one. So we have the Page of Pentacles, somebody making a, maybe a small financial offer to you in the past. Um, but judgment came, maybe it was a scheme. It's upright, so I don't feel like it was, but maybe it was just not enough for you. Some kind of judgment came in for you or this other person. Um, and whatever it was, it's over. Um, but I feel like Seven of Pentacles, now you're watching your money grow again. And you have a new beginning financially with this Ace of Pentacles here. New beginning. So you're watching your finances grow. And you have this beautiful new beginning in the present time. So sometime very, very soon, I get beginning of May that this new venture in money, maybe it's a new money-making opportunity, a raise, um, somebody offering you some money, an inheritance, could be something like that. Inheritance doesn't have to be money, but you are gonna receive some bounty, some, and it's, because you planted these seeds here that are growing. We have the three of wands in reverse, so, even in the near future, I still feel like you might be disillusioned in some way. And we've been getting a lot of this energy in the cards um, for the May reading. And I feel like because Mercury is in retrograde, Mercury is the planet of communication. When it goes in retrograde, it goes about three times a year for about three and a half to four weeks, less the shadow period, which is about another week on each side. Um, and what it does is it causes confusion Electronics kind of go out of whack. Um, vehicles could go out of whack. Appointments, um, stuff like that can be very confusing. Misinformation. Um, so you might be just dealing with that. I don't feel like it's a major situation. I feel like it's minor. But there is going to be some kind of a transformation here with that, with the death card. Um, some kind of transformation. And we have Pluto that went to Aquarius, but it's also going retrograde. So at the tail end of Capricorn, where it was, it's going to wipe out all that negativity and, and then it's going to process it. So that's where that transforming, heavy duty, powerful energy comes in. So your life will be transformed because of this new beginning. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the ultimate monetary happiness at the end here with this Ten of Pentacles card. It's like a happy family, but a very wealthy or established, abundant happy family. So this is the last card. And we have 10, so 10 hours, 10 days, 10 weeks. I get 10 days on this one. Um, and yeah, and that's what's coming in to you. So a really decent financial things coming into you in the near future, which is exciting especially if you've gone through something where you, 
you know, in this economy that we're in right now, it's, it's, it's scary. <clears throat> and then we have the Kipper cards. We get a pleasant letter here. And great happiness. And I feel like this is all because you planted these seeds in whatever reason or whatever you did, you planted seeds. And then we have the spirit animal deck. We have the grasshopper spirit. 30 could be significant. Take a leap of faith. So I feel like you, the cards are telling you to take a leap of faith for this new beginning here, this Ace of Pentacles, that's gonna grow into the 10 of Pentacles. So something very financially abundant, monetary happiness in May, I'm getting after 10 days. We'll still be in Mercury retrograde, but almost out of it at that point. Moonology, we have, what do you need to release? So maybe you need to release something, some disillusionment or some, you know, judgment that happened in the past previously. I really do feel like it goes with this judgment card. And then we have Goddess Guidance, which is Dana. High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So you might be very spiritual. I feel like you can transform other people's lives with that card. And then we have Earth Magic, which is Dance Celebration. And I feel like you'll definitely be celebrating with whatever this Ten of Pentacles is coming in in the future. And then the Angel Answer card is within the next few months. So I get May, June, no later than July, this energy, but 10 days for this, the beginning of this monetary happiness. And now we're gonna do some charms. Maybe a couple more. All right, this to me reminds me of like a, it could be a leaf, but it almost reminds me of a spider web. It could have something to do with the internet. And then we have the uh, opal fire sun here. You might be a Leo, strong Leo energy, something about being out in the sunshine. Um, we have this moonstone ring. I think this came up in another pile. Intuition, um, a cancer energy, protective energy, intuition energy. A key, I feel like um, you have the key to whatever this is that you want. We have a heart here, so there's love involved somewhere, somehow. We have an elephant. Elephants never forget. I also get travel uh, with elephants. We have a star here. You could be a star, somebody else could be a star, or whatever this monetary offer is could make you a star. And then we have this needle threader, which is kind of bent up. So you might have to look at something a little bit closer, especially with Mercury Retrograde. So pile number three, that's your reading for May. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Sending love and blessings to you all. Have a wonderful month. And if you'd like to book a reading with me or look at my other social media, I post twice a week on TikTok and I have Facebook information. All of that is in my description box. I would love to hear from you. Like, share, subscribe. Namaste.